In this video, we're going to look at some effective ways on how you can collaborate on a document. So using the Van Gogh document that we've used in previous videos, we're going to share this video with either our teacher or one of our fellow students. So let's click on the share button in the corner. Let me share this with somebody and I could write a message. I'm going to notify that person via email and I'm going to give them edit access. So let's send that now. That's now been shared. So let me go to that person's account. And you can see here, here is the email. Let's click on that email. And let's open up the document. Now when I look at this document, I can now see that I'm not the only one in this document. I have another person in the corner here. And I could chat to them if I wanted to within that document. I can also see exactly where the cursor is of the other person that's editing this document. And I can see here, and it tells me who that person is. And their color at this moment is pink. If I go back to the original person, I can see here, there is the person that's actually in this document as well. And I can also see their cursor is at the beginning of the document. So let's go back to our other person. So what I want them to do, I want them to add their picture of Van Gogh and some information about Van Gogh. First thing I want to do is add another style. So let's add a heading and call this Richard's version. Now what we want to do is go into Tools, click on the Research tool, enter Van Gogh into our search, choose all free to use images. We're looking at MLA citation, and then we want to choose images. Let's choose another image, drag that in, Change the size, and there is our image. Now our bibliography is still there, so what we want to do is we want to insert a new page break to bring the bibliography onto a different page. What I now want to do is add a sentence, add the citation, and then add a website. We can see them all appearing at the bottom here. Now what I can do, I can look at my colleague's piece of work, and what I can say is I want to comment on what they've done. I'm going to highlight this quote here, and I'm going to click on the comment button in the corner. And I'm going to write a comment to that person. So, and then I'm going to add that comment. If I go back now to my other person, and scroll down, you can see here this is the comment. So let's click on this comment and reply to it. And then we can reply. If I go back, there we can see our reply has actually appeared in the document. Another thing we can do, we can add suggestions. Let's turn on suggestions in the editing button at the top here, this mode, and suggestions. So I'm going to suggest. So I've added an extra line here that says Van Gogh death. That's my suggestion, it's in a different color. It's added a comment here. If I go back to the original, I can see it's actually been added to the original in a color and there is a comment. I agree with that. So let's tick that then accept it. It will then change it to black. What I'm now gonna do is just delete something from this document. You can see that's been deleted. It's a suggested deletion. If I want to delete something where it doesn't appear, I can go to editing and I can delete this and then it will be deleted. So that concludes this video on how we can use commenting and suggested commenting within a document.